Hey guys, what's up? My name's Goldblade, and today I'm going to teach you how to stream from your P PC to your Xbox One and or Smart TV. So this way, we're going to use a wireless connection to stream um, our PC or another device to either our TV or our Xbox One. So for this, we're going to use the, connect, um, the wireless connect feature on the computer and a few other things on the other devices. So to start this up, the first thing you're going to want to need is if you're using a smart TV, you're going to want to go into the settings and find whichever um, mirroring and or casting is available on that device. Most smart TVs do have um, a way to cast onto the device. Um, it's either under advanced settings or like display. Um, for this, um, it's different for most TVs, I would suggest looking up your specific brand of TV. I have a Roku TV and I found it in the settings. Um, so it's different for each TV, so I would look that up um, specifically for your brand of TV. So for that, there's certain settings that can change um, just different aspects of mirroring and or casting. So um, in my settings for my TV, I had a setting to enable passwords. So I had that set to off just so it's easier for me to connect to my TV and I will not have to enter a password and able to get in. It will just auto connect for me. If you do want to enter a password, then you can set that up and it will have you enter a password as you are connecting to that device. So to be able to start this, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click the Windows key and K. And what that's going to do is it's going to open a little menu on the side. Okay, in this menu right here, we can see connect, and this is where it says searching for wireless displays. It will show any displays that it shows right here. So if your display does not show up here, you can click where is my device, and it will bring up a little tab talking about that. I'll also show you how to do that yourself. Uh, right now, I have my Xbox, my TV, and some headphones that are connect can connect to my uh, computer via Bluetooth and or via the internet. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to first show you how to add devices to this just in case you do not see your TV and or Xbox on here. So if you do not see this on here, um, you can click find other types of devices and it will open a little menu. In this menu, it will open Bluetooth and other devices and then we're going to click the add Bluetooth or device button and it's going to pop up a, um, a little menu right here. So it's going to say right here, it says wireless display or dock. You're going to click in there and it's going to scan your um, Wi-Fi for any devices that will be able to wireless, have a wireless display if it does not already show up. So since mine already shows up, I'm just going to go back to that other menu. And as you can see right here, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to click on my TV and it sh you should see the, um, the loading bubbles. So right now it's connecting to my TV and behind me, it, um, the TV is actually loading up. And as you can see, it says connected. So because it says connected, uh, right under it has change perception setting. So there's some settings that you can change um, if for your personal preference. Once you go in here, um, there's going to be the disconnect option, which just disconnects the wireless display, the duplicate option, which duplicates whichever screen you're, you're currently using. So if you want to have your desktop um, mirrored onto the screen, you can use that. You can use Extend, which is what I'm currently using to use whichever device as your second monitor. So you can be working on your computer and then have a uh, computer screen on the other, on another monitor with separate stuff open. Or you can have only the second screen where whichever um, device you just connected to is the only screen viewing. So I have mine in Extend. And right now, I'm going to show you that it actually is on my TV. I do not have a, um, a captured for my specific TV, so I'm just going to be using my webcam for this. As you can see, this is my um, TV that I have connected to my computer. And right here, this is the second screen. So you can see if I go off to the left, I actually do, um, my mouse does disappear. This is actually because my screen is extending off to the left onto my computer monitor so I can drag things over and back from my other desktop. So this is like a second screen that you can use for productivity or anything else. And yeah, so just to disconnect, you just go in and you click that little thing on the side and it should auto disconnect from you. 
and your computer should be back to just this regular um, one display. Okay, we are back on the computer and it's pretty much the same process for the Xbox One. Um, I will actually go over to the Xbox One real quick to show you some of the setup settings and what you need to get, do to get it set up over on that device. And then I'm going to jump back over here to show you how to connect. It's pretty much the same process with the TV. And then it is going to connect and you'll be able to use that as your second screen for your using your Xbox One. So we're going to head over to the Xbox One. Okay, as you can see, we're over on the Xbox One. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go on, go up to the top and go to store. And from here, you're going to go to search and look up Air Server. So Air Server is a a casting um, thing that they have on the Microsoft Store. So they did actually have a few other apps like this that would let you mirror to the console, but they took them off. Air Server is one of them that still works and is still on the market. So this is Air Server. As you can see, it only has two stars. Um, so there are mixed reviews on this. So there's a lot of people that are saying it's a bad product and that it doesn't work properly. I haven't had any um, problems with it. There is a little bit of input lag when it comes to like streaming it over, but you're going to kind of expect that when you're streaming a high quality video over internet. Um, there is going to be a little bit of input lag, like you're not going to be wanting to play games and stuff over this, like 100%. Um, so that's one of the kind of downsides. If you don't want to do it, that would be one of my main reasons um, not to do it on the Xbox is just because of the rating. But, I mean, for me, it works perfectly fine. Um, they have updated it a lot. Um, I haven't seen any, like, major errors or anything. Like, I haven't got kicked or anything, so... We'll see. So to get the free trial, you're going to go over here and click the three little dots right here, and it's going to open a setting. Um, you can see right now it only shows buy as, um, a gift or a redeem a code. So under that is typically a try for um, try free trial or like you know start free file try start free trial, and that will let you download the app and use it for a short period of time. So as you see, I have. The trial downloaded as it says from the 21 hours and 17 minutes remaining um i've had this for a few days i've used it a few times it's pretty good i like it um as you can see you can also stream from your phone so you don't have to just do it from your computer i'll actually show examples of me streaming from my phone to my computer and or tv so it will show that you can do this on most devices so i'm just going to launch that up real quick and as you can see, it has a little background. So this background is not my computer background. This is just the background that Air Server has set for itself uh, at the bottom. So you actually can't use the joystick to be able to, to move around the screen. You have to use the D-pad um, down below. So if you want, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this, this menu right here by clicking A. And there's a bunch of settings in here. So you're going to get want to make sure AirPlay, Google Cast, and Miracast are on. You're going to want to change those settings whichever way you like um, to make sure you have the privacy that you like um, so that random people just don't connect. I have mine to allow everyone for all these because for me, I don't really, I, this is just for YouTube purposes. I do have passwords set, but I don't use, I'm not using them currently. Um, you can change the rotation of the screen if it does not um, rotate and show on your second screen properly. Um, here's some other stuff. You can change the name of whichever device you're using and the background URL. So if you wanted to change the background, you could do that too. And then just some general um, device info right here. I'm going to disable my IP address um, just so you guys can't see that. But I will, you're going to be... Um, that's going to be something that you need if you do not know how to connect, uh, that it doesn't auto connect to. You're going to be able to put that in and find that device. So yeah, so once this is started, we're going to go, um, here, here's a little quick start guide just in case, um, you want us to follow this. This also talks about how to stream with other devices and yeah, so I'm going to back out of this and on the computer, I'm going to connect to the console. 
So connecting to the console, just like last time, we're going to open that little side menu with the Windows key and K, and we're going to see the Xbox One show up here. We're going to click on that button, and as we click on that button, it should auto connect. And it say follow any instructions on your device. Currently, I do not see any instructions. It is just connecting. So this would typically be like, oh, hey, you need to enter a password or something else. So as we're waiting for that, there we go. And we're going to head over to the, um, the Xbox One and show you that it is actually streaming over there. Okay, we're over on the Xbox One. And as you see, it is the same screen. Uh, you can also see this isn't just my monitor because, or this isn't just my TV because I couldn't, I actually can't um, screen record my TV. I don't know like how to physically do that when it is um, video, but I have my Xbox recording right now so you can see that. And you can see that I can drag things over. Like there's there's Discord right there. And then I can also drag open different, I can open different um, things over here. As you can see, I have stuff loading. I have Firefox. And you can use this as a second screen to do pretty much whatever. As long as, um, I mean, it's the same as a second monitor. As long as everything, you know, works on your computer, it should work. Um, the only major problem I would see with this is um, the connectivity issue. So if you actually wanted to get a better connection, you would um, use an Ethernet cord to connect your streaming device and your connecting device to the same router, uh, just so that it makes those frames um, as short as possible and it's not going over the Wi-Fi so it doesn't drop any packets. Um, I wouldn't really suggest this for streaming, but you could. You could e easily play games um, on your TV from your computer if you wanted to. Um, and it would still work. It'd just be a little bit laggy, like a few, like not even a second laggy, a few minutes, milliseconds. But that's one of the major things. So now that I showed you that you can do it from your computer, I'm going to show some quick examples of how you can do it over on your phone. Okay, I refreshed it and now I'm over on my phone. So first we, thing we're going to do is open Air Server. So I will have a download link in the description. This is also on the App Store if you want to find it. So as you can see, it says no servers, Air Server found. We're going to go over to the Xbox and click this little QR code. It should open up. And on the phone, we should click the little QR code button and scan that. So mine is not connecting. So as I said earlier, if you type in the IP address, it will it should auto connect. Right now it's currently not working for me. I am in a dorm, so the internet situation was a little bit weird. Um, I there's no direct connection to devices, and typically I can type in my um, IP to do that. But for me, my phone's saying that projection is not available. You can actually you can do this. You can project. I have done it before. Um, I just can't get it to work currently. Um, if you have any problems with that, um, you can leave that down in the description. If you have the problems with connecting or anything else, you can also leave those down in the description. I hope um, everything worked out for you guys. I hope you found a way to connect and hope this video helped you. If you like this video and want more tutorials or um, to see any of my other um, content that I have on my channel, go down below, click that like button, subscribe, and also hit that bell if you want to see any notifications from my channel. Thank you. Bye.